What is going on in that studio, man? I'm just hearing madness and mayhem. So, of course, we mentioned earlier that we got a very rare honor here on Expresso. When you consider the contributors to modern or contemporary rap, it's difficult to do so without mentioning the name Common. I think his lyrics, his poetry have been used to address a number of social ills. I think he's, he's considered a living legend, but he's also not only a, a musician, but also a um, producer and an actor. So we had a very rare opportunity when he touched down here in South Africa to catch up with Omar, as he is known, and get the low down on common himself Trayvon, never get to be it's not every day that one gets to sit with two musical greats one is the only rapper to have won an oscar a grammy and an emmy the other is a neo soul maestro whose career spans over three decades i had the pleasure of catching up with common and omar on their recent visit to south africa British neo-soul artist Omar and rapper, producer and actor Common share a rich history of groundbreaking work in music. Oscar winner Common has had a highly successful career and continues to broaden his creative range. Common, first and foremost, welcome to South Africa. Thank you, man. It's great it's to be here. It's not your first time here. And what is it that you love so much about South African people? What I like about South African people is the passion. They have a certain... Um, passion that comes out and I love that like it's an up energy that feels ex excited and I love the the strength of the South African people you know the more times I come the, the deeper I get to dive into the culture or meet new people to, and learn new things now being a rapper yourself who do you say is on top of their game right now Kendrick Lamar is he's doing some really great stuff he's just versatile as an MC he has something to say he still keeps it raw I really like Kendrick the next phase of Common's illustrious career are his new ventures in film and television production with his company called Freedom Road. But being a mogul and a music star is hungry work. And I saw you trying out some South African dishes a little bit earlier on Chakalaka to be exact. How was that for you? I like spicy foods, so taste it. it tastes good. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to say hello in my language, which is Sitswana. So you're going to say Dumelang. Bahaitsu. Dumelan. Bahaitsu. Bahaitsu. Yes. Dumelan Bahaitsu. Dumelan Bahaitsu. Dumelan Bahaitsu. Yeah. Yeah. Omar is an acclaimed multi instrumentalist who received the member of the Order of the British Empire for his services to music across his glittering career. Omar, first and foremost, welcome to South Africa. But again, it's not your first time. What is it that makes you keep coming back? The people. I mean, everything is just. Uh... Uh, the expression and the way the people move, talk and everything. It's just a different way of life. So um, I always look forward to coming back. So what do you say you feel a sense of being home every time you visit the African continent? I do, definitely. My music is influenced by Africa, absolutely. You know, it's the reggae, the soul, the funk, the jazz. That's all from Mother Africa. So yeah, I feel a sense of that when I come, come back. And what inspires you to create the music that you do? A lot of people that stop me from day to day when I'm on the street and tell me how much they appreciate my music. And a, a very simple thing like complimenting me like that is the spark that gets me to go back into the studio. And what can you expect from Omar in the future? Pretty much what you've been getting so far, you know. I'm always developing and just expressing myself through the music. Uh, I built my own studio uh, in my garden in 2003. It's called Baka Yard. And so that just gives me the opportunity that any time I get any uh, time to express myself, there's always something going on. These creative icons prove that one can still learn, develop and take talent to new spaces and levels. It's a passion to keep working and be open-minded that keeps these legends relevant and revered.